Hello, my name's Annette. I wanted to tell you a little bit about a project I'm starting. Um, my son asked me, oh gosh, maybe four months ago, he asked me if I could make him a quilted coat. And I was up for the challenge. I've never made a quilted coat before. I've made clothing before, um, but it sounded fun. And I like to try new things and do something crazy. So um, I said, yes, let's do it. So let me tell you a little bit about what I'm going to attempt to do. Here we have a vintage type pattern, maybe from the 80s. Let me see if I can figure out when it was, when it was made. It probably says on here somewhere. There it is, copyright 1985. So we've got this 80s jacket, man's jacket, and it's a size 40, which my, my son is tall and slim, so a 40 should work for him. Um, I'm gonna try this A look here. Um, I saw the pattern, just looking at vintage patterns one day, and I thought to myself, okay, that could work as a quilted coat or jacket. I'm not sure about these uh, gathered sleeves. Um, I probably won't gather the sleeves. I may taper the sleeves. But uh, the fun part will be creating fabric. And when you make a quilted piece of clothing, I think, I'm no expert, never done it before, but I'm thinking that what I need to do first is make fabric. So my plan is to make um, a whole lot of hourglass blocks. So once I make a whole lot of hourglass blocks and stitch them together, I will have some fabric. Now for the A look, let's take a look at this back of this pattern. Because you know the back of the pattern will tell you everything you need to know. So for A, jacket. For the size 40, I'm going across right here where you can see view A, jacket. 40, I need 3 and 3 eighths yards of a 44 inch fabric or 2 and 5 eighths of a 58 fabric. For the lining, I need 2 and a half yards for the size 40 of a 44. For interfacing, I need 21 inches through 25 inches, 1 and an eighth yard of interfacing. Um, I doubt I'll be using interfacing in this jacket since it's all going to be quilted. So I don't think I will need interfacing, but uh, we'll keep we'll keep our options open. So anyway, that is you know I'm going to start this project, and the first step is making a whole bunch of hourglass blocks to make enough fabric to make this coat. And again, I'm going to need three and three-eighths of fabric yards. So here we go. Let's do this.